Remember I said to you, just like superannuation, the basic concept is there's something that's happening yearly on an ongoing basis. So annuities are a special type of investment. Annuities are a special type of investment where additional amounts are reinvested, how often would you guess based on the name? Annually. Every year. Annually. Now, let me contrast this, this situation here to what we're looking at all the way back in FM2. A question that you might get in FM2 is, you've got $1,000, you're going to put it in the bank for five years, and it's going to invest that 9% per annum. Full stop. Let me repeat that. Back in FM2, I would have said, here's a sum of money. Here's an amount of time. Here is an interest rate. And then you can crunch that into either, you've got two formulas. Which two formulas do you have? Um, you've either got compound interest or simple interest. Okay? So that's fine. It's just a formula. But what I want you to know here is this key word. <laughs> Annually. So this is different. This means, and by the way, you're going to need your calculators for this, and so will I. They're not just going to put $1,000 in and then just let it sit there for five years. What they're going to do is they're going to put $1,000 in, and then they're going to reinvest $1,000 in addition to your original $1,000 every year. Right? So at a minimum, you're putting $5,000 in out of your pocket, right? and then your interest is going to grow and grow and grow as you go. Okay? Now, there are two ways to go about these two approaches. And um, <laughs> this is really cheesy, so just bear with me. Uh, approach one is the worm. You'll see why I name it the worm in a second. Okay. Do you? Do you really? <laughs> no, I can't. Okay. I don't know if I don't know. So here's the way the worm approaches this. Okay. How does a worm move? Tell me how a worm moves. Very slowly. Very slowly, and it crawls along the ground. Okay, yeah, like, like, anyway, okay. So here's where we're going to set this out. Let A, N, I'm going to introduce this notation. A stands for amount, and N stands for the number of years that you've had your investment in there. Okay. So let A, N equal the amount at, I'm going to say the beginning. Yeah, after in years. Uh, I'll say after. Okay. So, remember, they're doing a thousand dollars and doing it over and over and over again. Okay. So, A1 will be the amount after one year. Does that make sense? Just the amount after one year. What's the amount after one year? It's just a thousand. There's your first thousand dollars. But then what happens? What happens? Well, after that year elapses, they say, hey, you earned some interest. Good on you, buddy. All right? So what's going to happen is for A2, the first thing that happens is that amount you had before is going to increase by 9%, right? Now we can do this in a variety of ways. I want to do it the quickest way possible. What should I multiply this by? to make it grow by 9%. I'll give you a clue, it starts with a 1. 1.09 will do it, or alternatively, 109%, okay? However, you need to learn to recognize when to use decimals and how to convert a percentage like this into a thing like that, because it's really easy to get that decimal place wrong. 1.9 is a common thing to put as that's incorrect. So I think it's good to practice that. If you want, though, you can write 109% afterwards. Okay? Now, they've given you interest, that's good, but remember we said, hey, this is different to FM2, we're not just going to let the money sit there, we're going to put in another thousand dollars, right? So therefore, here's what happened to your original thousand dollars, and then you add another thousand, okay? Now, this is where your calculator comes in, I now know, I can evaluate this, what the amount is after two years. Uh, these numbers are sim simple enough that I can do it in my head. It should be 2090, right? Okay. 
So there you go, two years have passed. How many years am I doing this for though? Five. Five years, okay? So I'm gonna now think about what happens at the end of the third year. Answer, the same thing that happened in the second year. So the worm, it crawls along slowly and it's making progress chewing through this. So it's going to go, Say that again. You didn't get charged. You didn't get charged on the first year. Charged? Oh, the penumbra. Oh, because a whole year will have to elapse before you actually got that money. Okay. So, stay with me, Joel. I should point out, this is frequently, and I'm trying to draw this contrast out. This is frequently one of the easiest things to confuse. This kind of problem, just look at the way this is set out. You'll see a number of money, a number of time, and a number of interest rate, right? It's exactly the same stuff that goes into a compound interest problem, okay? So I can tell you right now from having marked these before that students see these three numbers and they can't tell which is which because it's the same piece of information that goes into each. So please pay attention carefully because this is so easy for students to get wrong. Third year. You take what you had last year and you get interest, right? But then in addition to interest, you say, well, I'm going to reinvest again. Okay. Now, I, I actually don't know what this is now. So you're going to have to work out for me what's 109% of this and then add 1,000. What have we got? 3278.1. 3278.1. One zero? Yeah. It's, it's dollars and cents, so I'll put two decimal places. Okay. Now, how many times am I going to have to do this? Five. Five times, right? And now hopefully you can see why I am calling this the worms approach because all it can do is just slowly chew through this along the ground. And I'm going to contrast this to another way in a minute. So let's finish this out. You can see it forms this pattern. Someone got a number for me? Four, five, seven, three, and if you round it off, it's point one. Four, three. Okay. And then last one. Last one. Five, nine, eight, four, point one. Oh, you're too fast for me. Sorry. I'll get there. Five, what? Five, point eight, four. Five, nine, eight, four. Five, nine, eight, four. Point seven, one. Okay. Have we got some agreement on that? Happy? I knew this was so Okay, now. So, I want to point out a couple of things about this. This is slow, okay? This is one of the reasons why we call it this, okay? Now, I want to point out two things. Number one, there's a quick way to do this. Uh, I'll show you a second approach. Number two, to really do this over a long period of time, you really need a formula for this, right? Or at least like a table, which sort of makes a lot of these, e these numbers easier to work out. We will get to that in the coming, well, actually, since we're doing a test tomorrow, we're not gonna get to it tomorrow. We will get to it in the coming week. But that number there, yeah, I, well, someone was reading it to me in a confusing way. Um, it's fine, at least you gave me an answer. That number there, that's our finish point, okay? So that's it.